starter now only. Okay, there's one starter. Okay. Okay, I'm starting. So what is a backup? What is the use of this backup? Backup is <coughs> you have a data. Okay, you have a data, something like you have a data like this. These are all my videos. You have a backup. Okay, data is there. Any case, if your data may last, right? The possibility is there. You can loss of data normally. So loss of data possibility. Like, so how you can lose the data? Maybe disk disk is corrupted. Okay. Your uh, storage disk is corrupted. Possible accidental deletion. Accidental deletion. Uh, ignore the spellings. Okay, so otherwise you have to type properly. Okay, accident. That's uh, got also. Dental deletion occurs. Maybe file corruption. File can be corrupted. Right? File can be corrupted. Corrupted virus. Why? Why file corrupted? Why? Because of virus. Ignore the spelling. Then this is a possibility of data loss. So how to prevent it? We cannot prevent it. So um, redundancy right ride concept ride concept is like you know you take a backup um, and disk is corrupted now you have to restore the data okay you disk is corrupted and now what we will do so you this there is a disk uh, corrupted disk happen but you are already taken a backup so you have to restore the backup but it will take time meantime the customer uh it's a problem right so customer said like uh, no data is not available how much time i have to wait for the uh, data access right so like you have a database huge database is there the disk is corrupted now you, you uh, have a backup then you want to restore it from the backup then what happened it will take a lot of time to restore the backup so meantime meantime you do not to maintain a downtime so so downtime is there already i told so down time so you want to maintain a zero downtime so you need a redundancy like ride five mirror disk like that kind of stuff okay so without maintaining a, uh, that much time so we can use downtime so to reduce the downtime so we use a ride concept but backup is always a backup okay so you must take the backup maybe in a particular time particular day okay so backup usually like people think copying data into a different location is called backup of course like i may have a i have an external hard disk I usually uh, the download movies um, videos like uh, you know our uh, class videos you know, previously uh, that's uh, materials ppts uh operating system images that is a big one so operating system images i'll keep it in actional hard disk in generally in generally i'm telling okay now i'm not putting because that's two terabyte full okay <laughs> always like download some data i'll keep it there only two terabyte is full my point is i copying a data that is also a considered as a backup but to restore exact in the same place for example i deleted uh, some data here uh, for example i deleted uh, some data from here or uh, maybe this uh, um, this is having very less data so i will go with this one i have deleted some data from f drive okay some accidentally data is lost now i want to restore it back so exact position i may not know so from where it is deleted and where i have to put it exact place i don't know but 
if you take a backup using backup tools or backup options you know where to store it automatically store in exact place always it compare with the old data and the new data it uh, it is stored in a proper position so that is okay, so, so we okay, okay book only no problem i thought it is a video material okay so i have a lot of data is there so for example this data is deleted so then uh, i want to restore it back from the hard disk even i don't remember what what are the files are deleted also so okay how to specifically how to uh, remember what file is there and how uh, deleted and how to uh, add it so that is the user backup what is the user backup so when you take a backup using a backup tools so if any data loss then you want to restore it back you can restore it back file wise or a total backup you can able to restore it so that is in a backup okay so that's the point i want to tell so understand what is the backup so normally copying a, a data into the directory is also we call it as a backup but real backup is using backup tools we can able to do. lot of system based backup tools are there like a um, some us recova recova is a one of the tool so you can type like a backup tools a backup softwares uh, so you can see uh, ease us sudo backup backup and restore yeah backup venom backup okay like there's so many backups are there for a system okay okay different tools we can use the backup so then restoration is quite easy next server based tools backup like this is a server and i have a client pc server server means here it's a system which having a, a application which which do backup okay so this is an application okay this is an application related to backup backup server so this is like a backup server and these are the clients so what uh, uh, what it will do what it will do it contact every client it will send a message to every client every client every day uh, in a particular time what it will do it will send a message the client will send their data so this is the data is available for today so this is the data backup required data backup this is the one it will send to the server server separately create a uh, spaces like this is c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 like that so user individually cannot able to take the backup so then what it will do so a, uh, a server using this application so it will take a backup so this is a c1's backup so we put it in a one single space this is c2's backup this is c3 backup so your entire backup stores in a central server or maybe nas or san so maybe in a nas or a san it will use it so nas usually okay so it will store in a nas box so it will uh, create a one folder inside then all the backup stores here only so your backup is stores in central only if something like a c4 got a problem hard disk is failure he replace new hard disk now he want the data so you can restore it from centrally to here so this is the location network location of the backup and where we can able to restore again so we know if the backup came from the c4 we know backup came from the c4 and we can able to restore it into the c4 so that is using a backup so this is a backup servers also there so a uh, few examples of backup uh, servers server uh, tools okay so so uh, here is given what is a backup server uh, something what no oh, okay i'm not sure i close that one so put it 
ghost ghost uh, backup so this is a, a tool ghost backup it will collect uh, it image image your system ghost backup okay so this is a ghost backup okay uh, it took the backup in a imaging format okay so ghost backup will take your backup in a image location so i will give the tools first ghost backup is a one of the backup tool what it will do um, it take the image of complete system image and create image in the centralized server so if this any any case the c3 gone no problem this restore entire image into c3 and uh, start working so that is the ghost backup okay so it is image backup type okay complete system it will take backup that is a ghost backup which belongs to northern ghost okay version 15 still version 15 only okay next uh, ghost backup next is a uh, net backup okay this is also a tool it is maintained by semantic okay that is uh, not an this is a uh, veritas net backup okay it is a uh, enterprise level atrogen backup and restore suit cross platform backup functionality large variety of windows linux and this one. that is called a cross what what is cross platform means different operating systems cross platform will work with a different operating system okay so what part you want to backup in generally so then it will take the backup also this is a, another type of backup where it has net backup this is a norton this belongs to norton this is belongs to semantic where it has net backup so it is belongs to okay com vault is also there uh, it's a com vault uh, is also a backup okay try before you buy free demo publicly data management software there is a, a lot of backup uh, uh, things are there so try com vault uh, backup tool also just for understanding okay so these are the tools to do backup so when you okay so these are the different tools to use it okay what kind of data to be taken a backup for example in a client machine so what are the client data only client data like uh, outlook files outlook data means mail data uh, client uh, a personal folder data okay only profile data so what data you should take a backup also you can uh, take it okay so this is uh, um, using different tools we can able to do it but here i'm not using uh, uh, tools because we don't have that time to show uh, i have a veritas net backup but um, i'm not using that one now so i'm using i want to show you what are the backup types so first i want to show you what are what is the backup types and how it is works okay so backup types and how it is works here we should uh, write things so i'm using 2003 because backup types clearly in a 2003 only but later system we don't have a backup thing so we'll start this is a 2003 enterprise edition uh, actually i didn't remember the password we'll try you will feel one uh, nice experience with the 2003 okay guys if you have a 32 bit pc or you want to learn basic services like active uh, directory dscp dns uh, this kind of uh, services basic services and you want very basic lightweight system best one is 2003 server and xp as a client basic things only you can able practice hyper v all kind of stuff big kind of stuff that is 2008 2012 2012 is good or try 2019 
next time you want to practice you can download 2019 enterprise edition try with 2019 edition okay then 2016 uh, i forget to mention this 2016 i shared a ppt there is a first ppt introduction to server 2016 there is a future sir written so futures 2016 futures so just read uh, if possible at least uh, five six features as all control delete means all control insert right okay administrator log on to ate uh, ate only so that's uh, uh i created so many days back admin at the rate one two three okay and you know so when you shut down the server when you start the server means after restart compulsory to ask why you shut down compulsory need a comment why you shut down or you have to choose why you shut down also because server should not be shut down always on 24 by 7 it will faster boot this is a server manager you know so how funny it is look like this is a server manager okay server name is ms project domain name is ate.com okay so this is how you can add or remove roles if you click it and uh, you need a D cd inserted then only it will work so only these services are available like a file server okay print server uh, web server mail server uh, terminal server terminal server means uh, yeah remote desktop server type okay uh, uh, vpn server domain controller dns dhcp stream media server win server like this only there okay so it's a cd only cd size only so we don't need this one okay nice. okay so here see clearly and read guys take a no notes means like book here I want to show you uh, data first of all we should create a data right so we have to go to my computer you need a data to observe what is this one okay I have a directories with some data okay so I'll go back go back again uh, like this is good better and these are the backup names okay so what I'm going to do is first I'm going to e-drive e-drive is uh, where I have a data so i'm going to delete that one shift to delete better delete completely okay and uh, f drive where i store the backup so because we don't have any different locations that one so i clear e drive and f drive i'm going to e drive now i'm going to create a directory just for uh, understanding only i'm creating directory so i want to separate a uh, different type of uh, data so i'm creating uh, data one directory name is data one instead of data one i'm going to create a files okay so this is a text file okay this is an extension so remove don't touch the extension i put a file name is b1 okay file name is uh, b1 okay inside i put a name or something data so this is is it visible guys right visibility is there right yes sir so i'm close this one b1 file now i copy this file and paste here now i change the name okay so b2 file practically uh <laughs> you can't do it but v3 file so i created a three files okay every file having a same thing uh, okay this is don't have that same thing right so this is a b2 file okay this is b3 file 
exit save as now here a file has a property called a attribute not only a file if you go to the directory directories also will get a directory attribute actually what is it's not showing here but it is see file has a attribute what is an attribute if you look at this attribute attribute will tell what the file what is that kind of file it is is it a readable file writable file hidden file if you hide the file it's become a hidden file okay you create a file here and i created a file something name some file see attribute is a if i go to properties i click on read only okay then see ra it is read only file i remove the i, I put a hide okay I, i read only now it is hide i remove hide. now h like that that is what the type of file it is it show yes understand okay here here first type of backup uh, one by one options i will show you and why it is a is important here also i will tell okay so i am doing a direct backup so administrative tools uh, you can find backup here no okay uh, oh, sorry 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 all programs all programs uh accessories accessibility where system tools sorry here it is okay all programs accessories system tools backup all programs accessories system tools backup so click on a backup now wizard will start wizard will start okay so always start in a wizard mode okay so you can click on advanced mode otherwise just next no problem next i'm going next i want to back up the file not restoring file restoring we will do it later now okay i want to do backup next all information or let me choose let me choose so where is your backup thing so you can go to my computer e drive data one open it so there is a three files are there right so i select data one then i want to take these three files backup next where do you want to store the backup f drive what is the backup name you guys remember backup name when you put a backup name uh, you may not mention the backup names no problem but mention the backup dates is important in general always what is the date today uh, 13 3 2021 right and always backup date is like this reverse always reverse first year month date year month date because when a date arranges it is in one order right it's not a value of that one it is it don't understand date it will understand alphabetical order only so in that cases it will understand this one like you will get in a sorting like uh, it won't mix up with another dates either it is in top or maybe it is in bottom it depends upon uh, uh, order okay and i am give i am making this is a normal backup okay next so it is asking for a advance i am going to click on advance advance and it is showing advance and what it is written just read that one backup write down that one normal backup type of backup first one is normal backup read it
okay so what is a backup backup selected files and mark each file as a backup okay now what i want to do is i want to write down that backup type here so the, because it's uh, very important so first normal backup also called as a full backup okay so this is the first type of backup and what it is backs up backs up selected files and marks each file as backup uh, back it up okay so this is a, a statement so what is it it will back up what are the files we selected it will back up and also marks each file as a backup how it will marks okay i will show you that one so if you see there is a attribute a is there now it remove the a it remove that a it removes that a so then it will mark as a backup okay no problem so i will keep this one here and uh, next one is a copy backup another type of backup is copy backup look at it. backup backup a selected file but not mark as a backup it means it won't tell you whether it is backup or not next one is copy backup it will backup the selected file no difference it backs up selected file but does not mark any uh, this is blocking my view but does not mark any as back up okay so this is backup so now it is look good i think okay what happened if you take a copy backup if you take a copy backup what happened backup will happen but it won't mark this one as a backup so the resultant is if you want to take backup again so you want to take another backup what happened it backup again so imagine uh, you have a 10 gb data you backup so what is the backup size 10 gb and now uh, 2 gb is added now you are taking backup means 10 plus 2 12 gb so you are backup so in original location so i, I, I will I, I will show you that one here yeah. okay so actual data is 10 gb okay you backup so in a backup location it's a 10 gb and new data is added 2 gb okay and uh, you backup so here is 12 gb and totally here 22 gb in backup location but in version location we have only 12 gb okay so your original data is less but backup data become more that's a problem right so if you are mark, mark this one as a backup if you mark this one as a backup what happened it take only this backup and store into the place means your backup is also 2 then it is become 12 so to maintain the backup location less and also do not take the backup which is already backup okay so that's why we are using a um, normal and other backups also backup marking is important backup marking is important okay next type of backup is incremental backup what is it backup the file selected only if there are created or modified since the previous backup understand so what is that meaning so what is the incremental backup okay 
So incremental backup means it backup the selected fi files. It will select only files which is newly created or modified later. Means it won't take the backup of already backup. It won't take the backup of already backup. How it will know? Based on that marking. Marking. Incremental backup. So, what is a, a statement here? Backs up again selected files. Backup, selected only if they. This is a window is size. They were created or modified. Modified. Okay, modified is there since the previous backup. So, which one is not that backup? You done a backup and a new data is created. So the new data only. It will back up or modified data only it will back up not the already back up the kind of stuff uh, it is the window is showing doing that okay since previous backup that's it next type of backup is differential backup oh very big statement so we have to read the statement first Backup selected files only if there are created or modified since the previous backup, but does not mark them as a backup. So see the difference. In incremental backup, the the statement extra statement is not there. Differential and incremental is same, but only thing is in differential, it won't mark as a backup. Incremental will do that one. Okay, so. Okay, for till date, I never type the things like this. Okay, whether it is online or offline, I didn't type the statements. Uh, I can copy paste from previous statement. So not full stop, it is a comma, but does not mark them as backed up. So this is the statement now we'll go to uh, daily so again see what is a daily backup backup only file that created or modified today okay so uh, today is uh, like uh, 13th uh, of march right march 13 friday march 13 friday okay so whatever i created a files today what are the files I created today? It will take the backup today's data only, not yesterday, not a day before yesterday kind of stuff. Like last few days, I didn't take a backup. But if you should select the daily backup, it will take the backup of backup today's data only, not every day's backup. So someone critic found this chance. Okay. That is a daily backup. Okay, uh, we forget to put that in one now. So, you want uh, 
you know in a different uh, places the backup terminologies are changed little bit but the meaning is always same backs up only files that were created body fired today okay, modified today so this is the total backup how many backups are there backup types normal backup copy backup incremental backup differential backup daily backup okay what are the backup types you know just uh, as they ask a question so immediately you have to tell normal backup or full backup next copy backup okay. incremental backup Next differential. Differential backup. And what is the remaining one? Daily backup. Right? Only daily one. Okay. So and there are some meanings I have reported here. Normal backup, copy backup, incremental backup, differential backup, and daily backup. Five types. Guys, okay, so anybody please tell what are the backup types? Anyone? Salman? Where are the guys are there? Sir, normal, uh, full backup, copy, incremental, differential, and daily backup. Very good. Okay. Mm. Some people said like uh, level 0 means normal backup, incremental means level 1, differential means level 2, like that. So, out of these five, you have to remember mainly normal, incremental, and differential compulsory in a different technologies and different places like Oracle uh, backup is also there, no? DBA backup. That time. This is a here uh, that these are terminologies in a backup thing. Okay, see, you don't have to search in Google also, it is there in our PC. Now, uh, I will show you a short term like uh, how much time I spent here, almost one hour. Okay, I will show you one by one backup thing. So, I will show you how it is marking. The marking is only important. So, I'm showing that marking. I, I put a full screen mode so then uh, I can easily. On. okay so first is a normal backup next uh, verify data after backup like uh, sometimes if you backup it it uh, the backup may corrupt it so you have to verify the data after backup I didn't check it append this backup to existing backup if already backup is created so it will append you don't want the existing one you want to replace it then put a replace now nothing is there no problem now or later we can schedule it we can schedule it now i don't want to take backup i want to take backup at five o'clock then i can uh, put a name and i can schedule it i can schedule the job like uh, task once start time and run on butler date okay or uh, weekly that one schedule backup so we can put a schedule backup is a one more type of backup means we can schedule the backup so you want to run the backup but you know, weekly wise daily wise hourly wise you can set it you can see once daily weekly monthly once at a system start at log on when ideal when ideal take the backup like that okay so this is a very good list 
so i am going to like this okay because uh, we working on a different project times so one is infrastructure management that time is compulsory to understand what is this schedule So this is an additional one out of five plus one type. Okay, so you can list. So I'm writing it list also daily. In a particular time, you can take it daily. Particular time means daily evening uh, eight o'clock like that, or maybe weekly. Weekly means uh, only Friday. Today Friday, right? So you want to take the backup only Friday. Means Saturday, Sunday is a holiday. Not for not for you. Not for us, okay. For everyone, not for us. We are exceptional. We are great people. When system is ideal. Backup. When log on, when you log into the system, immediately start backup first. Then we'll see that at system startup. I we start we see now system is started. Then take the backup. Then leave leave it for a remaining thing. Only once. Once means take backup only once in a particular time and date. That's it. So don't take uh, repeatedly. Monthly backup. So every month in a particular month and particular date and particular year. So you have to take the backup. Weekly backup means every Friday in a particular time take the backup. Daily, daily in a particular time you can take the backup. So this is a daily backup. So I increase it. This is daily backup. Weekly backup means on which week you want to take a backup. Every one week or two two week every two weeks, every three weeks like that we can put it. Okay. Monthly. So uh, first day of the month. Okay, set month. So which month you want to do it? Set the month. So first day of the month, or maybe last day of the month, or twenty fifth of the month, or twenty sixth of the month, like that. Monthly. Once means particular date and time. Run on particular date and time. At system startup, nothing. See, no options. Automatically, when you start the system, automatically take the backup. Login. Ideal. So if your system is Ideal for uh, next to ten minutes. No, no, no load on the system for a uh, ten minutes. Automatically take the backup. So that is the ideal one. Okay. And also there is a setting. So many options also there. Uh, we, we, I took lot of. I, I want to take a backup now. Okay. I think you guys you missed the point. Uh, I'm cancelling it. I want to do it again. Why? Because of. I told enter uh, options and stories, so uh, we forget what we are doing also from starting. Okay, system tools backup. So go to the backup. Now next backup settings. Let me choose next my computer Windows. No, not everything. Only data one. Okay, so only data one, three files. Next, and the name is there. Very good. So already given a name. Next, advance normal backup only. I want to take it. Next, not checking. Leave it now. Finish it. Okay, actually, it will take one second to take the backup, but waiting preparation is take time. Now it is completed. Oh, faster it is completed. Report. Go to report. Backup type is normal backup. Files are three. Directory two. Something it is showing the timeline. How much time it taken? One second. Okay. Now close. Can you see these attributes? Attributes are gone. If you go to F drive, this is your backup file. This contains your files. 
okay and this is your files and attributes are gone now i'm going to add new one i want to show you only uh, incremental backup and normal backup only okay before i'm creating i'm putting the data this is uh, before file okay see have you seen that attributes is there the new file having attribute but uh, archive attribute this is called archive attribute so archive archive same spells archiving archiving okay so b1 b2 b3 don't have archive attribute why it marked as a backup this is already backup is done for b1 b2 b3 okay so the it is marked as a backup for example just for example this is a b2 i open b2 i'm adding um, here what i'm typing back back it up file just something i add a line so it is a modified now file is modified see it is came understand if you create a new file or modify the already backup file it will show the attribute okay now i want to take a backup only incremental backup uh, here it is there backup next let me choose my computer expand e drive expand uh, i click on data one see i am checking everything see i am checking b1 b2 b3 b4 remember and uh, this backup is incremental backup okay next advance select incremental next next now finish and wait for a second okay already I told it take one second to backup but preparation will take time one second already but <laughs> taking it that much time see to for preparing only it will take completed report how many files it is backup two only but how many files i have four files and i selected a four files but it is done a only two backups only type is incremental backup close so attribute is gone see this is a incremental backup right click open next next let me choose uh, e drive data here is a no 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 what i'm doing is open next restore files and settings okay uh, what is the latest one you have to choose the latest one uh, this is a 2027 2021 13 incremental backup this is incremental backup choose e drive expand data one okay see 
it is only backup b2 b4 means the file which is having archive attribute that only it is taken a backup b2 b4 okay so this is about your uh, incremental backup of course restoration is you can uh, plan a restoration later so you, you have to delete the data and restore the data that's it okay you can choose backup backup wizard you can try like delete the file next restore and you have to choose what what are the things you want to restore it you can restore it that's it but this is the point i, I want to show you only how to back up it okay okay this is what it is okay folder so leave about it this is about guys backup types now it took lot of time 